right? Grand evening, everyone, is Shay Seeking or Shalanda. And we are going to be going ahead and going into now, right? Something hit me on the way, <clears throat> excuse me, out today. Um, that took me back to Revelations, right? And so, <clears throat> excuse me, goodness. I like, I did all this before I started the video, but whatever. <clears throat> so, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and just start it off. Again, this is not your mama's Bible study. I'm never here to tell you what it is or what it ain't. I'm simply sharing what it looks like to me. And we're going to go ahead and look at it. Because there's signs and symbols I feel all over this. Okay? So again, I might take my time a little bit because I feel like there's some trip ups and hiccups in here. So I'm going to make sure I take my time, you know, so we can really like see what we're talking about here. So again, it says, after this, I looked and behold the door standing open in heaven and the former voice, which I had heard as of uh, a trumpet speaking um, with me said, <clears throat> excuse me, come up hither and I will show you these things that must come to pass hereafter. Now, again, I was watching a Soul Siblings video about... Um, this moon or whatever, that's full moon that's supposed to be coming out tonight. And, um, and again, so I'm reminded of that while I'm reading this too. <clears throat> and, um, you know, it just came to my mind about like how, how she was saying that, you know, and I know it's not dark here yet, that people are going to be, you know, trying to work with the moon or whatever. And that again, it may not be a good idea. Right. So, um, I didn't get to watch the whole video or whatever, but it kind of just triggered that in my thought process. Um, so again, <clears throat> cause I feel like, you know, <laughs> yeah, there's energy, right? And um, I don't know, like I get these visions, right? We'll call them visions because, you know, people want to try to proclaim things about you and make, you know, <laughs> what you're saying invalid, right? Because you use certain terms. So again, I had a vision. <laughs> But see, if I sat here and told you, oh, you know, I spoke to God and he said this exactly and this is the dream, people will be all up on it. But again, <laughs> I just have visions. That's it. When the doors are open up there, I go there and that's <laughs> right. Okay. So again, I try to use the word to match up with what I'm seeing or I'm feeling or sensing. So again, in a sense, this something things were drawing my attention like all day i felt like i was just like a, a zombie damn near <laughs> walking around today so uh just for a little bit um so again it says um i will show the the things that must come to pass hither hereafter so again i feel like that's what was happening all day certain things were just coming in downloads were coming in and it says immediately i was in the spirit Okay, so again, immediately he was, somebody was in the spirit. Now, who is this? The court of heavens, okay. Pre preparatory vision. Oh, okay, so again, visions, okay. And it's about the seventh seal, okay. And then um, let's see who we were talking to. He, because there's a lot of he, 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 father, who, he, he. Again, it's not really identifying who he or she is, <laughs> okay. So, again, it says, Behold, there was a throne set in heaven, and upon the throne one was sitting, and he who sat was in appearance like a jasper uh, stone. Let's see. And sardines. And there was a rainbow round about the throne in appearance like an emerald. Okay, hold on one second. I think we have the wrong one here. Hold on. Okay. I don't know what in the hell is going on. But it ain't until I got all the stuff together, sat down here and started recording that this is going on. <laughs> and it's Seems a lot like it's pertaining to what I'm doing. So, okay. Mm. I mean, things just can't get like 
even weirder at all. Okay, let's see if we can just talk over it. I mean, maybe y'all can, there's a little concert in the background. I don't know what's going on, okay? <clears throat> so anyways, um, one sitting on a throne and he who sat was in a presence like a jasper and stone and sardin. And there was a rainbow round about the throne in appearance like an emerald, okay? So again, you know, I know that there's no he really here. And we can probably look at more. I already did a video on this like a year, I mean, a while back, right? But, you know, um, like, okay, symbolistic, this is the red, right? Okay. It's almost like the red sun or a red moon, even. Um, again, maybe representing someone wearing red. And, um, yeah. But you see the rainbow roundabout, right? And then the eyes on the towers. And then the sea of glass. And the reflection of the thing on the thing, right? And even if you look real close, it kind of looked like somebody sitting on a throne in a red dress, but I might be taking it a little bit too far. All right. So. Y'all. Somebody playing. This, I'm just trying to figure out if I'm about to be punked or something. <laughs> Somebody playing. That's what they doing. Somebody playing. We're going to keep going. Okay. You see this? Mm -mm. This is just one of them songs that lately, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know. Okay. All right. We gotta keep going. Okay. Um, and it says an appearance um, like, an appearance like to an emerald. Okay, so again, the, there's your emerald colored mountain there. And that just happens to be my birthstone. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let's keep going. Okay. Okay, and round about the throne are 20 and four um, elders. Uh, 20, wait, 20 and, okay, and around about the throne are 20 and four seats, and upon the seats, 20 and four elders sitting clothed in white garment and on their heads crowns of gold. And from the throne, proceeded flashes of lightning, rumbling, and pearls of thunder. And there are seven lamps burning before the throne. Well, let's see if we can catch up and keep up. So, okay, so we got the, I think we already did this, right? But I'm wondering if these, you know, 20 and four elders represent these white blocks, right? Because it's symbolic, right? And then the, the gold ones represent the gold seats or the thrones or whatever. I mean, the crowns. Wait, hold on. Let me, let's see how many. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. Uh, I'm trying to see which ones are like a nice size that we can count. Let's count the white ones. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Anyways, I don't know how that would represent, but I think that that's what it represents. Okay? Okay? And then, what else did it say? But it says sitting on the throne. But, you know, really, if you look from back here, it looks like somebody's standing in the middle of the throne. Don't it? Let's see. 
this is all the way over the top what I'm doing right here. But again, it's almost like it's is somebody sitting there. It's like there's people if you really pull it back and look. And it looks like some tablets or something is laying up against some stone. Okay. I mean, if you really kind of look at it, it looked like somebody standing there with a cloak on or something. Okay. All right. Um, okay, let's see. In their clothes, okay, and then the flashing lights. Okay, come on now. This ain't working out like I thought it would. Um, okay. All right, so again, but that does look like flashing. Let's see. That looked like flashing lights in the in the water. That's enough for me, okay? And then you got seven, wait, what was it? Seven lamps burning before the throne, okay? Seven lamps. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, unless something over here is burning, but still. Mm. Oh, right here. Okay, what well, y'all can't even see. All right, <laughs> it represents, I think, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think the feathers, right? Which would represent also when we look on the crowns of some of the um, hmm, indigenous peoples <clears throat> or, you know, ant people of antiquities. Um, we see that they have the serpents in their temple or in the whatever altar has been placed upon the heads of them. And an altar is just a change. It's an alteration. So the original has been possibly replaced and there is a alteration or an idol. Okay. Something that is representing something else like those arrow tips, those arrow, the backs of these arrows are representing the lamps. Same thing that again... <laughs> And I feel like if anybody would know about this or who this would be, I guess it would be me. And so if I'm the one that's always feeling like the cornerstone that had been left out, I'm just wondering. <laughs> if I'm the one showing the signs and symbols and things, then I'm just wondering. But, you know, it's halfway like this is a test. <laughs> and everybody know, and it's just a push for me to get over. See? Okay? So that could be it. It could just be bringing me into something. It could be all positive and beautiful, but also it could be, again, well, however it is, it's messed up. If somebody playing with me is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so let's keep going. All right, okay. <laughs> Which are the seven spirits of God and before the throne there was, okay, like the crystal, we already looked at all that. Okay, and then it says, in the midst of the throne and around about the throne are four living creatures full of eyes before and behind. Okay, and the first living creature is like unto a lion. So again, now, hold on one second. Okay, so, like, I'm, I'm looking at this now and I don't, you know what I'm saying? I can't really see, I mean, unless these are representing creatures because it kind of looked like a something is long, like you know about to attack something so again i don't know if those are creatures they, they could very well be this is the uh coat of arms for uh honduras remind me of sabi <laughs> okay so again it it can very well be yes yes even this looks like the little staff that the egyptian pharaoh like ra would be holding um, you'll have to look it up yourself, okay? But yes, that's definitely looked like it. How it kind of like goes down like this. And it, I was looking at it really close the other day and it's actually the face of something. It's not just, you know. So anyways, all right. <laughs> so again, and it says, um, so the living creatures or whatever. So I, that could be living creatures or we could be talking about a totally different card, okay? Um, okay, like a lion, the second like a calf, the third like a face. Again, this could be talking about the world card or there's another card I'm, I'm thinking of. Um, as it were of man, and the fourth is like an eagle flying. Okay. Um, yeah. And the four living creatures have each six wings round about, and within 
uh, they are full of eyes and they do not rest day and night in uh, saying, holy, 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 uh, the Lord God Almighty, who was and who is and who is coming. OK, so again, this may be a form of ascension, you know, and from a uh, spiritual aspect. But we could be also talking about. Let's see. Okay, so we could also be talking about this card though. See them there? And then the wings round about, you know, that could be the whirlwinds or whatever you see there. Like the swirly things, right? Um, full of eyes, okay. You know, and I don't know why these things look, they they must, they must might be olives, but they kind of look like eyes. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? But that's a her. You see what I'm saying? Strange. Like, I think it's some, like I said, I think it's some kind of, you know, deeper connection or a deeper level of understanding here. Okay. They have eyes all about, okay. I mean, even this looks like an eye in the hair. You see it right there? And um, let's see, what else? Ugh. Right here above his head, that looks like an eye. And his ears kind of look like an eye. Eyes. But even if it's not... Um, those look like they could be, or else you also see this here. Oh my goodness. It's too hot for all this. You see on the scarf that's wrapped around, it's kind of like, it, you know, could that be representing a scroll or something? But it, it's wrapped around, there's eyes all around about that. Okay? Again, very strange. Okay? For the fact that people tell you that reading tarot cards are bad. And so now we're proving that it's not even just talking about tarot and the... Um, Old Testament, but the New Testament, the end. This is the apocalypse because this is a different type of Bible. <laughs> okay? But it's still the same thing. Okay? Um, yeah. And they do not rest day and night. So again, if we're talking about this holy person, I feel like we're talking about even... Um, we could even be talking about like a queen of... Uh, Queen of Pentacles as well, actually. <clears throat> okay, I'm not sure. If, I mean, I'm just looking at the crown and the eagle that looks like it's ready to take off. Because at first, from the front on one of the images, I think of the Empress, I thought it was a flower. But then now that I see it from this, it's, there's wings on it and it looks like a bird's face. So I'm not sure. But anyways, it says, um, yeah, okay. Um, and then it says, um, the 24 elders fell down before him who sat upon the throne and will worship him who lives forever. And wait, oh, hold on. The 24 elders will fall down before him who sits upon the throne. And again, you know what? This reminded me of Watch the Throne. Hmm. Yeah. So, in the red. Okay. And then the red dragon. I don't know. What are we talking about here? Okay. Okay, so it says, okay, we'll fall down before him who sits upon the throne and will worship him who lives forever and ever and will cast their crowns before the throne saying, Worthy art thou, O Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and because of that, thy will they existed and were created. So again, just reading this again, it's seeming like what they're trying to say is that 
the 24 elders will fall down before him who sits on the throne. So that's the visual person or whoever it is that will be sitting on the throne, right? Okay. And will worship him who lives forever and ever. So again, this is talking about two individuals to me, almost like a higher and lower self, almost like a, the goat and the scapegoat. See, almost like the, uh, you know what I'm saying? But I'm feeling like, again, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like if we talk about the world card, then we're talking about a feminine energy, you know? But again, that that's four. <laughs> so again, I'm going to come back with uh, five um, and we're going to look at some other cards um, when it comes to this. Because again, I do feel like, again, uh, Source has set me down and kind of like is bringing me through this thing. Um, I actually started off in Revelation 6 or 12. I can't remember. It was with the, the woman, right? Uh, you know, with the sun, the sun um, over her head or clothed in the sun or whatever. Okay. So... Again, clothed with the sun is also covered with the sun. So it's almost like the sun or a sun is blocking the view of what's actually behind. You know what I'm saying? And so this kind of works out where how it's saying that, yeah, they're going to see the one that sits on the throne. Or even if it's say pertaining to like if, if it was a message that you are delivering in this new world, right? In this world right now today. <laughs> um <clears throat> Like I'm delivering it to you, but actually the person that is going to be in an exalted position already is going to be the one that sits on the throne. But what throne? And then does that mean that, again, when we're talking about God coming and being on the throne, what are we talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So is that like a twin flame kind of, you know, whatever kind of situation? So, okay, just in case this is a bad video, you see all this noise going on. Okay, just in case this is bad, I'm going to just stop it now and we'll just, I'm going to listen to it and then we'll go to chapter five because I'm afraid y'all can't even hear. So we'll stop. <laughs> 